So, George Webb and Thomas Paine at True Pundit are reporting that the Imran Awan, the, uh, the story of Imran Awan is coming to a climax. What's going to happen? They're going to throw him in jail. They're going to they're going to turn him into an informant. They're going to expose all the corruption that went on in Congress. <laughs> Hell no. So Thomas is uh, Thomas Paine is reporting that that there's a there's a date. Um, uh, uh, he's going to Imran Awan is going to take a plea. So if you're not familiar with who Imran Awan is, this is probably one of the biggest stories of our time right now, right? It's the story of a story of a, a couple of guys that were hired in Congress to navigate through the uh, as a, operate as IT people and navigate through the databases of Congress. Right? To sort out all that tough, that, that hard to figure out stuff, you know, all the data and all the emails and all the information, all that confidential information. So they paid two Pakistani guys, right? Emran Awan and his wife. <clears throat> and we don't really know how many others. There were maybe another five or six on the payroll, all making six figures, right? So why is the story important? Why is that story important? I'll tell you what's going to happen to them. Right? We all, we already knew that they would bury it. Right? They'd bury the story. But why is the story important? Because the whole premise of the 2016 election, according to the Democrats, was that the elections were hacked. The Russians hacked the election, right? They ran that one to the point of, you know, prepare to arrest people, right, on this fake story when, when, when all along we knew that what the, what, it's not so, not so important whether it was a leak or a hack. It's what they were reporting. It's what, what the information that was coming out. All this classified information being housed on, on outside servers. There was no confidentiality. There was, it's just a giant hole with all, all the state secrets, all the quid pro quo, all the how pay for play was working. So Imran Awan was the IT guy pretty much. Hired through Debbie Wasserman Schultz's office and uh, protected to do such. Now, we'll never know the extent because because the judges and the you know the the system has stepped in to make it go away. So we'll never know the full extent to what Imran Awan's involvement was in the 2016 leak slash hack slash information dump. But we could be reasonably sure that he had access to all the congressmen. Databases now. Hillary Clinton stuff alone is is um, that's that's pretty damaging. But he had access to Debbie Wasserman Schultz's stuff and several other congressmen. So the vast, you know, he accessed he illegal. This guy Imran Awan illegally accessed thousand he thousands of times. He he uh, didn't have authorization to access what he was accessing. Right. So what's the crime? What's what's the what what happens to a guy like that? Uh, uh, a a guy operating a spy ring in Congress. Right? Right? He's he's leading the he's he's leading the spy ring. Now that that information could have leaked anywhere, right? That guy doesn't have clearance. It could have he's a, he's a Pakistani refugee or whatever. He somehow got, you know, got his citizenship. And that's not, that's not to say, oh, oh, he's in a refugee. He's just a guy that, he's a scapegoat. He's a scapegoat. He's a throwaway. Right? Because when the shit hits the fan, when they get caught cheating, they take that guy and they make him disappear. They put him in a room and they make the room disappear. And that's what they're about to do. So come July 3rd, Imran Awan will be let out the back door. He'll be given a few months on a, quote, military base to do his time for bank fraud has nothing to do with what was actually going on the, 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 the massive leak in information right so he'll, he'll go out the back door and all of Debbie Wasserman Schultz's problems will go away and Congress will go away and we'll never know we'll never know that that file will be sealed 
by an Obama appointed judge. How convenient, right? Democracy. This is our democracy in action. That was the biggest story. That was way bigger than 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 uh, Watergate. The story of a spy ring in Congress, where where all of the all of the the data and all of the information inside closed hearings is being sold out the back door and moved around in ways that nobody had any idea how it was moving around. And then you want to say, when you leave yourself so wide open like that, you want to turn around and say, Russia did it. It's ridiculous. That story holds uh, so many answers, so many answers to the 2016 mystery. All the, the, the things that we already know that the Democrats cheated, how they, through, through the WikiLeaks emails and Podesta's emails, we know how how that was how that was going on, right? We know what was going on somewhat, but we don't know the full extent, and we never will know because now all that documentation, all that all that information is going to get sealed. My name is Marcus Conti, reporting. Oh, I got a DSNY truck behind me. DSNY car. Sanitation truck. Sanitation. Guy driving on the sidewalk. Why is he driving on the sidewalk? Marcus Conti reporting. Peace.